Hello everyone once again and welcome to my channel where we learn a lot about Photoshop and we have started Adobe Premiere. We did not actually start, we are continuing, we are in the middle of it. If you've not watched the previous episodes, just go to the playlist and then find the, play the videos that we've done about Adobe Premiere so that you can better be informed so far on where we have reached. Continue, continue subscribing, consider subscribing to this channel, like, share, comment, ask me any questions about editing on Adobe Premiere, also about use developing graphics on Adobe Photoshop. In future we'll go to Adobe Illustrator, but now we are on Adobe Premiere. So when, what we have done so far, remember there's a time I told you in the second video that we did, that most of the problems that people have are on titles and on color correction. Actually the third one is on sound but sound is later. We'll deal with it in, when we reach Adobe Edition and also here so far. So we've already done some basics of titles and I've shown you a shortcut that you can use the basic one and then you can go to essential graphics and then you, use, you can use an advanced one. There is Another one that was so manual, which we are using, it's called the legacy titles. When you're using CS3 and those CS versions, it's also here, I believe. So when you go here, you can add a file. I think it is file new. And then you have legacy titles. So this is so manual, but it's actually, you see, this is how legacy titles look like. It is very basic but also advanced on its own capacity. It was so manual, by the way, it was very... We understood how to work with titles from this first. You have to understand how to do those kind of things. It's manual, it's very nice. So that's a legacy title. But we have transitions from that, transition from that, now we are on essential graphics. And it's very good, we have to, to, to applaud Adobe for, for doing those kind of shortcut things so that we can, we can better make our work easier and faster and more efficient. So today I'm going to actually guide you through something, just an introduction of color correction, so that you understand that other people use plugins, but I usually don't like using plugins. I like probably to download LUTs, so because LUTs are better than downloading plugins. Plugins are already, you, some of them you cannot manipulate, some of them are heavy on your computer, like the magic bullet, sometimes they're heavy on your computer and sometimes you do not, so you, but if you do it manually and you apply LUTs, it's very easy for you to continue, to continue uh, doing better professional color correction. Of course, people are using uh, DaVinci Resolve because of that, which I say it is very good, but now that we have Premiere, why can't we just start with it so that we understand the basics of color correction? So here, um, the same way you are doing in Photoshop, camera row feature. That is the same, same thing feature that is here. You can see we have the basics, correction. So here you'll have the white balance. You can select and look for a gray area or the white area and then select so that it can be the white. Or you can, uh, you can select uh, when the basic here on white balance, it's there already. Or you can just jump and then start playing with this temperature that is here. By the white balance we've already selected, it's there. So you look at that temperature, it's good. You can add some tint to the pink or to the green, it's good. You can do your exposures, it's good. Don't overdo your exposures. You can do some contrast, it's good. What I encourage people to do is actually expand the shadows and dim out the highlights. That is very good because it's actually showing those kind of things. And then play with these blacks. Don't burn it so much. And then the whites also. Don't, don't make them burn out so much. So now these are the, some of the basics that you have. Remember how to navigate on these panels. You can move to the right to the left. Or you can double click to reset it back to where it was originally. Just by double clicking on that, that particular circle. So, or you can reset and then it will be just back to where it was. The other thing down here, you have saturation. It helps you increase the amount of that color. Saturation. How saturated? How much of the color do you want on the clip? So you'll do that. 
And then below here, I'll just double click to reset it. And then below here we have creative. So creative, we have uh, a lot of LUTs. These are the LUTs that I was talk talking about. And I like using this one for eyes, especially when I'm editing documentaries, or this one for blue, the same, same. Uh, but there are many you can choose from because I'm somebody who likes the cold, cold feel. But you have to understand the temperatures. Blue is somehow cold. Yellow toward the red, orange there, it's somehow hot, you understand? So the temperatures have to be very well understood before you continue doing this. So I incorporate this, and then I'll come back here, and then expand my shadows, and then uh, do some blacks out, and then you'll see that my thing is actually growing. You can preview the files here, the effects, and then you, ch you select which one you, you would like to put. Um, down here, you can see that you can increase the sharpness of your, your video. You can make it blur, you can sharpen it. You can make it vibrant, you know that vibrance is, is there, it's good. When, when you see the video of my wedding, I was actually playing ar around with this kind of navigation tools. Below here you have this kind of, this kind of feel. So we have finished with creative, we are on curves. Curves is where you play with the RGB. So RGB, the red, green and blue, the basic colors of these videos that we're doing. So on these curves, you can play that is hue versus saturation. We will do an advanced in-depth series of these kind of categories. But hue versus saturation is how much saturation do you want for that hue color? Let's say we've selected this yellow uh -huh, by selecting this pen tool and then coming to this yellow. We have selected. Um, sorry, it's not selected because of this. Let me just put it back to none, none, so that it can be selected. I'll go back there and then select yellow. So it is somehow yellow close to red. Um, I'll just do this, come to creative, select none. And this saturation, I'll just do that. Let me reset everything. Back to where it was. Um, let me just, I'm resetting everything. And then I'll come to these uh, curves so that we understand the hue versus saturation. So I take the pen and then select this yellow. Why is it not getting that yellow? Okay, yes, now it's there. So this yellow that I've selected, the one in the middle is the one that you've actually selected. So how much of that yellow, that hue, how much of the hue do you want on the video? So you want to reduce it or you want to increase it? That's how it works. If it was green, but we don't see green here, so we cannot play with it. So this is this, this hue versus saturation. And then you have hue versus hue. So on this, we have played this hue. So this hue that we have selected, do you want to change that yellow from yellow to green? Do you want to change it from... So that is hue versus hue. And then you have hue versus luma. What is the luminosity of the particular hue that you have selected? Do you want it to be very bright? Do you want it to be dark? So these are the three main areas of understanding on, of the hue, saturation, and luma. Then you have luma versus saturation. You have Saturation versus saturation. I've never tried that because I don't think it's so much of a creative issue when we use it. And then you have the universal one that you can play the, the curves with. This is the universal curves. Um, when we finish that, uh, you can play with a lot of things. It's, we have vignette, we have HSL, and then a lot, a lot, a lot. We'll dive into them so deep as we continue. But I wanted you to see that when you actually you want to do color corrections you will come to lumetri color and then play make these kind of changes there and it, it will be saved on this uh, effects control so if you delete it it's back to normal so till we meet again consider subscribing ask me any question about these particular tutorials that i'm making here if you didn't understand that is just reach me out on the comment section send me a comment I'll be happy to reply, subscribe, share, comment on this kind of videos. Till we meet again, bye-bye.